Hey, what's up guys? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So, Season 100 starts tomorrow on April 16th. Alright, crew minimum has been lowered to, I think it was, 8 million respect points. So if your crew can earn 8 million respect points for the entire season, you guys are going to get that crazy, crazy Ferrari thing they're giving away as the milestone prize car. All right, next season, I imagine it's going to go back up to the 20 million, but this season it is lowered. All right, if you own a crew or you run a crew, please put in the comments. If you're looking for new members, please put in the comments the name of your crew, your requirements, your contact information. That way, so some of these guys who, you know, watch my channel who don't have a crew can join one and get the car. All right, if you cannot meet the crew's requirements, do not join. Most of the time, a crew will kick you out before you even get to click collect the uh, car. All right, when the cars come out, you don't get them till the first day of the next season. All right, and a lot of those guys, crews, will kick you out on the very last day if you do not meet the RP requirements they gave you. All right, um, season 100 also. There's still one thing that's very unclear. We're going to get some sort of Lamborghini. I haven't heard which one it is yet, but there's two scenarios. Let's say, all right, it says personal RP. Now, today, the new personal season just started today, so I haven't done any racing at all. So the personal seasons only last for one week, all right? You got six days, 17 hours left on this brand new personal season, and then it's going to restart. So... How are we going to make our personal RP? We need to make 500,000 personal RP to get that car. Now, the question is, is it going to count personal RP for the entire season? Or is it going to per count personal RP for, you know, since these seasons only last for a week and there's two personal seasons in a regular season, well, are both personal seasons going to count or just the next one that starts in a week for your 500,000? That I am not sure of, but they do have some tips on how to uh, how to earn more individual RP. Pretty much the same thing I said. All right, you'll need to do a lot of live racing or showdowns, collect cars, and upgrade the cars over the season. Those are the main things they say. All right, live racing, tier five live races can win you up over 1,000 respect points. So look out for those. So they're saying do a lot of do a lot of uh, live racing with tier five cars or a good tier four car. There are a couple tier two cars and tier three cars that can also earn around a thousand RP. Even the Volkswagen GTI. If you don't have a good live racing car, the Volkswagen GTI you can buy from the dealership. If I remember correctly, that gets around like eight or nine hundred respect points per win. I mean. That might be the one star version. I, I don't remember what the zero star version gets, but all right, do showdowns, fit fusion parts to your cars, upgrade your cars, and complete the daily goals, okay? Those are the things that should help you earn more individual respect points. And like I said, unfortunately, like things like the Prestige Cup, unless they've decided to change it, some, th some people think they're going to, but according to this, it's only the individual RP. So if you beat something like a crew cup or whatever and it gives you a big piece of RP for a prize, well it's kind of looking like that is not going to count, okay? It's looking like that is not going to count. Um like for example, right here, this this has 14,000 crew RP, 28,000 crew RP. And 43,000 crew RP. So you're going to get three prizes of RP for completing these three races right here. If you're in a crew. The way it sounds, the way, the way they've got it set up, unless they've decided to be nice and change it, which I don't think they have, none of this here is going to count. Now, if you race a race, down at the bottom of the race, it'll show you how much cash you got and how much RP you got for doing that race. And... I believe those are the... Oh, the showdown's still going. I thought these ended last night. Ah, I guess this one ended. The Easter one's done, but this one's still up. So, let's go do one race, all right? I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about by which RP does count. I think I made a video on this the other day, but I'm mainly making this one just because the 
you know, I'm making this again so Cruz can come in here and say, hey, I need new members, please join, and then you guys can find stuff. Plus, you got, you know, only need the 8 million. All right, so check this out. Three, two, one, go. And that guy disconnected or something, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't say race void or race abandoned or some junk, which they love to do on this game. All right, I've been awarded the win, so I just got 1,292 respect points, which you see right here. All right, the little bit right here when you do a race, that's the only respect points that's going to count is this. Or like it says, when you add fusion parts to your car or upgrade a car, it gives you a very small amount of respect points, but lots of live racing and lots of showdowns with a tier four or tier five car and you're gonna earn a nice amount of respect points, okay? Hopefully, I really hope they, they're giving you the entire season to earn the 500,000. I'm not sure because they don't actually say. They're very vague. There's certain information they just don't give out that they really should, all right? Um, let me, I'm gonna, right now, let me look on like their Twitter and stuff like that. I'm gonna go through all their Twitter pages, Facebook pages, and I'm going to see if they actually stated that anywhere recently. Let me pause this. Okay, so there's a lot of... I see people asking the question, but CSR2 members, like the devs or whoever, don't seem to be replying. All right, April 29th is when it ends. The question is, when does it start counting your respect point? Some people think it started when they posted, posted all that like a week ago. Some people think it starts tomorrow. Some people think it starts one one week before the 29th. We don't actually know when it starts. So my, my advice would be start live racing your butt off right now, okay? So a personal season only lasts one week. Personal seasons only last one week. Now, today... All right, the brand new personal start season started today. So if you see your RP drop down to zero on the personal season, that's why. All right, every week it resets to zero because the new personal season starts. And there are two personal seasons doing a, during a regular crew season. So tomorrow is Thursday. Every season starts on a Thursday. All right, and lasts for roughly two weeks. And then the two, two Thursdays from now, the new season starts again. So that's how they do this. Um, we'll go look at that real quick in a minute here after this race. Did I just win that? I think I just won that unless that guy is one of those. Yeah, cool, I got that race. Yesterday I was stuck and I couldn't win anymore and you know what, today I'm back to winning. So, you know, every couple hours I might pop on and just do a couple extra races. All right, so let's go back out. I think I, I think the game stole some trophies from me again. Everybody's having problems with that. The game's, the game's having some issues where you earn trophies and then they disappear, and then you earn them and they disappear. It sucks, but that's what's happening. All right, so personal season right here. All right, this lasts for six days and 17 hours. So right now I just I just ran a couple races so you can see I've got 2500ish respect points for this new personal season. So bottom line is get a tier 4 or a tier 5 car. The, you want to find a car that has the at least 1000 evo points right here. If your car has somewhere between 800 and 1000, okay? I think even the uh I think even the uh If you've done some of these custom... Oh, I hate all these garages. They need a better way to go through this. I think even if you've done some of these custom elite elite things to this guy right here, I bet this guy makes some nice respect points. I mean, he's a tier 1 car. He's got plus 8 something on there. Plus, he's got 2 stars. So, for a tier 1 car, I mean, this would probably be a pretty good car to live race. Um, the Volkswagen GTIs, if you got the one with 3 stars, that would be good. 
Um, if you got the one with one stars, that would be good. Um, there's a couple boss cars, which I have all the way on the other end of my garage. At least you can click on the studio and it will pop you all the way to this end of the garage. But the one star GTI, that's got 703. That'll do halfway decent. Um, where's the rest of my one star cars that are good, I should say. All right, tier two. I mean, this this rocket golf rocket bunny that's got over a thousand. The Boxster's got over a thousand. This little guy right here has over a thousand. The John Cooper Mini Works is that's as long as you have enough parts installed on these cars, they get up over a thousand. So any car that's this one's got plus seven twenty. I would I would want to see at least plus eight hundred. Anything that has over a thousand RP is gonna earn the maximum amount of RP per race. And if the more stars it has, it should earn more RP as well. All right, this tier two, no, that one doesn't have enough for me. Not enough. Man, I thought this. I thought this Civic had more. I thought this Civic had more Evo points, unless I I tuned it weird for something. All right, the one star GTI was 722. I mean, I'd rather see 800, but it's good enough. Folks, Ford Focus. Traxter. I've actually got this one tuned differently. This one usually has more, a lot more RP, but the way I've got it currently tuned, all right, it, it doesn't. So make sure your car is tuned properly. All right, add add all the stage six parts you can, add all the fusion parts you can, and get a good tune. And if you get your tune right, the RP will go way up. I mean the uh, the uh, Evo points will go way up. But I try to find cars that have over a thousand Evo points. The more stars, the better. For example, these are all my live racing cars right here. So, you know, now if this were to drop down, this one has 2,399 Evo. But if I were to go down to exactly 1,000, it wouldn't make a difference. It really wouldn't make much of a difference at all. It would make roughly the same amount of points, okay? It doesn't matter. Once it hits about 1,000 Evo, if you gain more than 1,000, it's really not going to give you that much more. You might get a teeny, teeny, tiny bit more, depending on how you have the car set up. But pretty much, once you any car with over a thousand Evo or at least eight hundred is going to be good for live racing. All right, remember your highest tier car with over a thousand Evo points with the most stars is going to be your best bet for live racing if it can win. Unfortunately, some cars like the F12 just can't win crap they get put in the wrong lobby unless you down tune the thing and then it will beat people in live racing but the problem with that is it loses a bunch of its evil points and then it doesn't make as many respect points when you win live races or probably showdowns so all right there's a lot of really cool cars out there that get good evil points like Let's take this GTI Rocket Bunny into a live race and try and win one. Let's see how many points this little guy wins. Because this is a Tier 2 car with 3 stars and over 1,000 Evo. There's not a lot of Tier 2 or Tier 3 cars that get over 1,000 Evo. So when you see one of those, that's pretty awesome for a lower tier car. Well, let's take this into a live race and let's try and win. I don't know if I've ever really live raced it, live raced this, and I don't really remember how to drive this thing, but I'm gonna try and get a win here, and we can maybe we can figure out how many respect points this car actually earns. This will give you an idea of what a starred car with over a thousand evil points, even of a lower tier, can do. Three, two, one, go. And I totally screwed that up. I didn't launch correctly, so I totally lost. I'm pretty sure we do nitrous on second gear on this. I was thinking this was a tier one car where you don't actually have to launch. I don't even know if my car can beat this guy, honestly. I don't know what this car runs. I haven't driven this car since since the uh, there was a prestige cup for it. That's the last time I remember driving this, so I don't even remember the shift pattern for it. Three, two, one, go. Oh, well, that was a crap shift. Come on, little GTI. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I lost.
All right, let's try to race another person. Try and race another person. Obviously, I suck driving this car. Let's try and find a higher tier car. That's not that thing. Well, someone else is chilling. Uh, these things, I'm going to refuse this. I know those 250 GTOs are supposed to be crazy good live racers right now. I just want to figure out how many respect points this wins. Let's try and race this guy. Cool. He's got a win-lose thing, so as long as he's not like a jerk. All right, I'm going to win at least one of these races so you guys can see. I'm interested to see as well. I bet this gets around about a thousand. I bet it hits close to a thousand. Try that. It must be early shift in the second and then hit your nitrous on this car. All right, I won. So let's see how many points I get. Real quick, let's find out before he re-challenges me. Crap. 1,076. Check that out. So even a tier two car with three stars and over 1,000 evil points can get 1,000. That's nice. I mean, that's nice for, that's really good. I mean, my tier five cars get what? Like 1,300 or like a five star one with purple stars. That's a, That's not good. The only drawback to race, racing something like this is you only got 5,000 game cash instead of, instead of 18 or whatever, instead of 18,000. But yeah, I mean, even a, even a two tier two car that gets over a thousand Evo and it's got a couple car stars is going to make you some really nice points. I mean, I'm already up to 4,000. I got to get up to 50. Look, I do a couple races and I've got 4,000 respect points up there. Now, hopefully, I'm pretty sure they're going to count the I'm pretty sure they're going to count this for the entire season. I really don't know how they're going to do it, guys. I just know you got to get 50,000 from date A to date B, and I don't know, I really wish I knew where date A started, but they're not answering it so my advice is just do during the next two weeks do as much live racing all right just live race your butt off go down your butt off if there's a showdown man make sure you're on it make sure you follow the advice i gave out on like yesterday's video for the showdowns though because you know you'll start losing you will get on losing streaks on the showdowns and once you're on a losing streak, I'm telling you, they they purposely leave you on the losing streak. And if you don't take a break for a while, sometimes you might have to, you know, take a break for a long time. Every once in a while, like, I stop, and then the next day I get back on, and I'm getting my butt kicked. So I take a break, and I go back later that evening, and I start doing good on the showdowns again. So, I don't know, it's definitely... One of those things you got to play around with, but once you get on a losing streak, I'm telling you, you gotta you gotta go in there and take a break. You gotta get out of there and take a break for at least a couple hours. I think the thing that probably works the best for the people who don't have a really fast car is, you know, going in and winning two or three races an hour, then then you quit for an hour or two, go back. Do a couple more races, quit for an hour or two, go back and do a few races. That seems to work really, really well. All right, now that I know how to drive this car, we're going to challenge this guy again. And we're going to beat him. I think this is the same guy. He's expecting to win, but I think I'm going to, I, I think I'm going to get him this time. But All right, so just remember, when I started this video, I had zero... I had zero respect points when I started this video. But, I mean, every one of these. Ooh, who won? I don't know. I got, I lost. That's a fast car. That's a fast car. So I did not get my revenge. All right, I did not get my revenge. I did not. Man, this is a 20 minute video. All right. So. Yep. I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this one here.
we're almost at 20 minutes the second we get to 20 minutes i'm gonna hit stop so oh 